once again and it is time for another Tech Tip Tuesday video. Today's video is going to be about how you can enter in customers and vendors on the fly. You might not realize that if you have a customer or a vendor that is not in your master files that you can enter them in at the same time or as we say on the fly when you're putting in your quote or job or purchase order. Some of you might be doing what is common practice and entering in these customers and vendors before starting. And there is nothing wrong with that. But if you need to get something done and you don't have access, Job Boss will help you out. So let's take a look at how this on the fly works. Right now you can see that I am opened up here to a quote and in the customer field I'm just going to go ahead and type in Joe Job. And we can see here from our list of customer IDs that Joe Job is not in the list. So if I tab off, I'm going to get a message from Job Boss asking me if I want to add this customer. This would be one way I can add this customer accordingly. I'm going to go ahead and answer no because I want to show you the other place where you can actually do this. And that is through the customer lookup button to the right of the customer field. And this same lookup button is either in a quote or in a job. When you go into the customer lookup window, you can see there's a quick add button here in the lower left hand corner. Once you've done a good search and you realize your customer is not in the database, you just have to hit the quick add button and Job Boss is just going to ask you for a few tidbits of information. So like the customer ID, the customer name, and the address. Now I'm not going to just in the interest of this video put in all the information because again the only required fields are the red fields. But remember that if you ever use the quick add window and you have additional information for this customer or will, where we will be looking at in a moment for vendors you'll want to make sure to find someone or yourself go back to the customer or vendor master file and put in that information that this quick add window does not give you an opportunity to put in. Let's go ahead now and take a look at adding a purchase order. Alright, here is my purchase order. I'm just going to auto number my purchase order number. And again, to the right of the vendor field, I have the vendor lookup field, or window. And then to the lower left hand corner, I have the quick add button here too. So you can see, even if you don't have access to customers and vendors, it is very easy to get the job done. And what's really nice is that even if you're concerned that someone might put in duplicate customers or vendors, the one really nice thing is that we do have a tool that you can use to help you merge those duplicate customers or vendors. And that's called the Find and Replace Utility. All right, well, that's all we've got for today's Tech Tip Tuesday video. Make sure to stay tuned for a couple more weeks where we'll provide you another Tech Tip Tuesday video of different tips and tricks and maybe even something you didn't realize Job Boss did. Have a great day and thanks for watching.